Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to install a Garvin Industries crossbar kit with these Yakima crossbars. And we're doing this because obviously it's something we need to mount on the roof. So before we get into that, we got something else we need to deal with and then we're going to look at this kit and install it. Let's take a look. that thing's off there. Okay, so here you are, you have all your pieces minus the crossbars, um, but those are just pipes essentially. Uh, this is the kit that comes from Garvin though with those crossbars. Uh, you have all of your mounting brackets for the towers basically, your assorted uh, carriage bolts and nuts. Uh, the nice thing is all the nuts are the same size, so you really only need one tool as far as I can tell to put this together, uh, which should be a, what is it, a, a half inch socket, so that's nice. Um, everything is powder coated well, and everything is done right, I think. It's all heavy duty. Like this is all, uh, looks, appears to be a quarter inch steel, um, maybe a little less. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it's very thick, very heavy. Everything's very well done. It even comes with little end caps for the, the Yakima bars. So um, that's really nice. Anyway, okay, so enough about this. Uh, oh, and your instructions, of course, you can't forget those. But uh, enough about this. Um, Let's actually get this thing on the roof and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is how this setup looks. I apologize for the light. You take one of these C bent pieces and you put two of the longer carriage bolts through there, like so. And then you have your tower piece goes like that and this all claps around the rail it's actually a pretty simple design so it just goes like so that let me take our washers and the nice thing about this is that uh, they all use uh, locking nuts. So you don't have to do anything special. But I don't know if that's going to require a deep socket or not. OK, instead of fumbling around with that short thing, let's just do this. Make this easier on ourselves, right? So deep well socket. Yeah, that's better. All right, essentially, we just do that four more times. So let's do it. Last thing to do is get this bar on on both sides, and then we are done. It's starting to rain again, but we're under here, so it might get a little loud. But uh, so, how this top piece works essentially again, I apologize for the light it's just a strap with a carriage bolt that goes through it, and then nut and a washer on the bottom that goes to this tower. So, we're just going to do that real quick. Um, by the way, I need to correct something. I realized at the beginning of the video, I said these are. Yakima bars. These are not Yakima bars. These are uh, Thule or Thule, however you say it, bars. And uh, they are thick, like real thick. Um, they're at least, and they're probably approaching a quarter inch, honestly. Um, I don't have a tape me measure with me right now, but, or I do, but I don't want to go down and get it. But it's a, uh, they're very thick, they're very heavy. On their website they say that these things can support about 600 pounds. Um, I believe every bit of that. So, these are loosened up. So, okay, we'll get these installed and then we'll, uh, we'll pull it out here so you can actually see the final product in the light. It's starting to get dark so I need to hurry up, but uh, let's get this done. All right guys, there you are. They are all installed and ready to go. Um, the install process is not hard, it takes about an hour. Uh, you can see there's the top clamp I was talking about. There's the thickness of the tube, which is pretty thick. Again, I apologize for the uh, the light here. And just so you want to know, if you want to know if it mounts with a axe and shovel mount on, it does. They just slip right in there. Mount pretty identical to the axe and shovel mount, actually. But uh, yeah, so they're installed, and they are ready for what I'm going to put on top of them. All right, that looks good. 
Okay, it's starting to rain, so it's getting time to end this video. Anyway, guys, so that's how you install the kit from uh, Garvin Industries on their mounting, mounting brackets, and then the crossbars are from Thule. Um, great kit, really strong, everything is really durable. Uh, like I said, it's all thick stuff. Uh, the powder coating, the paint looks really nice on them. And uh, for those of you who made it to the end of the video, the reason we're installing this and taking off that box is because we're getting a rooftop tent. We're making that bridge. Yes, we're going to put a rooftop tent on a TJ. We're going to see how it handles. I'm going to show you how we're going to do it because uh, we're going to do it a little bit special. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like what's going on the channel, hit subscribe down below. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.